Hello, hello, hello. I'm back again. It's been a while. Um, I just thought I needed to do a quick update as it's been so long. Um, yeah, it's the day before my third treatment now, so it's Monday night. But my third treatment tomorrow, which puts me uh, a quarter of the way through, which is quite good, yeah. It's gone quite quickly, I'd say. It's a month down. So, um, yeah, but the main update, I suppose, the big thing that's changed over this last week is the pain. It has gotten considerably worse. Um, my mouth has got a lot more ulcers and sores at the back of my throat. Yeah, very much feels like I've got tonsillitis or something. I can see my lips a bit swollen. I've got an ulcer there. Not very nice. And I've been having really bad pain in my arm as well. Um, we think it's the vein that has become irritated from where the uh, chemotherapy goes in. Um, but that's been pretty bad, yeah. For I'd say since Friday of last week, so about 10 days, I've been in pain. I've been given painkillers by the GP. It's not really helping. But yeah, back again, starts again tomorrow. So um, just got to go with it, really, get on with it. Obviously, it's the throat that's the worst and the ulcers. Yeah, I've got ones at the back of my throat, at the side of my mouth, and my lip, and on my gum. And this real pain eating and drinking. But I don't think it's going to get any better, because that's one of the main things they say with chemotherapy. It really messes with your mouth, because it attacks the cells that regenerate the quickest first. That's why you lose your hair. Well, their mine's, yeah, still there. Uh, and that's why your throat gets irritated as well. But yeah. Hopefully it's not too bad, it gets better as the week goes on, but we'll see. What a palaver. Well, here I am again. Um, it is Friday. I was supposed to have had my third treatment on Tuesday, but as you might have guessed now from what I just said, I didn't get it. I still haven't had it. Uh, yeah, so just a quick update. Went in on Tuesday, um, and they said that the bloods have shown that my liver function is down slightly, which is expected from all the drugs that I'm taking, and obviously it's all being broken down in the liver. And they weren't able to get a lower dose of the chemotherapy in time, so then they said, oh, if you can come back in tomorrow, uh, which was Wednesday, and they'll give it to me then. So I went in on Wednesday next day, um, and lo and behold, they can't find a vein. Uh, for some reason, they can't put it in this vein up here. It's got to go in the one in your hand or your wrist. And they couldn't find one. And then they thought I was looking quite ill. So then they were querying whether I had sepsis. So there was thoughts I might have, to, I was going to get admitted to the hospital. Uh, a slight panic. I had to get blood taken. I had to get immediate uh, antibiotics stuck in my arm um quite stressful really yeah pretty stressful um but now on monday which will be monday the 7th uh i've got to go to high wickham in the morning and get a permanent line put in a pick line and then i'll have that for the next five months um and yeah, I just, I'll just get it cleaned every week and flushed through. And it means they won't have to find a vein, which will make things easier. Um, and then after the, after I get the pick line put in on Monday, I'm going to be going straight to Stoke Mandeville and getting the treatment. So everything's been delayed by a week, which means the finish line's delayed by a week, which is a bit annoying, really. Obviously, you just want to get it all done as soon as possible. But these things happen. It's stressful at the time, but yeah just get through it uh and the other thing as well I suppose i did talk about this last time but it has really been dominating the last two weeks now is uh pain yeah my arm was obviously the main culprit last week and as that went my mouth is just unbearable it's keeping me up at night i can't eat solids i can't chew because my gums are inflamed and they've gone inflamed over the uh, wisdom teeth. I think they're wisdom teeth, the back ones. And it's like cut the gum. So whenever I move my mouth, like, I mean, obviously I'm talking now, 
and it's not too bad but like biting down it like bites on the gum and uh it's pretty painful to be honest so i'm on a lot of heavy duty painkillers so by the time they kick in it sort of make, it makes the day a bit easier but it is just pain management at the moment there's not much that can be done about it i've got all sorts of mouthwashes yeah sprays alcohol sprays uh yeah painkillers morphine codeine but uh it's really bad really bad but you know again what can you do <laughs> you know can't no point crying over spilt milk just get on with it as annoying as it is but yeah that's about it really um yeah next update oh yeah i've got my pet scan in a month i had a meeting with the consultant uh all seems okay really obviously apart from the pain doing what they can to stop that but uh yeah i'll have my pick line put in on monday so the next time you see me i'll have it in here uh do another show and tell but uh apart from that that's about it really over and out <clears throat> just a quick add on to the last thing that's why my mouth looks weird I've been looking at myself in the thing and my, my mouth looks a bit lopsided to the side and it's because it's all swollen on the inside on this side so that's why my face looks weird at least that's my excuse anyway mayday mayday we have a crisis this is an emergency update it is saturday night no not the night for partying i am in and i am having a slight crisis as you know the pain has been bad lately so uh what comes with pain comes pain killers uh so i'm on pretty strong painkillers at the moment what comes with painkillers comes constipation yep even more so than before so with constipation comes laxatives my favorite not anymore um I was given some more heavy duty laxatives last week, Movacol, and the nurse said to me, she was like, oh yeah, if you're struggling, just have two sachets. It says on here only have one, morning and night, but I thought, well, I hadn't had a poo in five days, so I thought, you know, getting a bit worrying, obviously need to get the bowels open, so I thought, oh, I'll have two, and I'll obviously then add another one in the evening as well forgetting that these things take a couple of days so I was sort of happily going about my day next day I had another two in the morning uh that was yesterday and I had one in the evening and I had another one this morning and oh my god all hell has broken loose the noise is coming from my stomach it worrying it's not worrying apparently though I've googled it and noises just show that the intestines are working and they are working bloody hell um Every fart at the moment, it's like a Russian roulette. I don't know what's going on. I have been to the poo a lot, some real sloppy ones. Um, it's a problem as well, you know, with the laxatives. Obviously, the poo doth flow, and you don't know whether you're ill, like with the speed it's coming out. I don't think I am ill. I haven't got a temperature. I'm still feeling quite sprightly. But, um, yeah, I'm clenching. I'm, to be honest, I am a little bit scared to go to sleep tonight. Don't want to wake up with a mess in the bed. I um, think I'll probably lay off the lax. I think I've had enough poo for the last for the next two weeks, to be honest. But um, it's good to know it's there. I think I'll just have the one sachet next time. Thank you for that advice. Uh, and having two, to whoever that nurse was. But uh, I won't be doing that again. But yeah, this is how I'm spending my Saturday night. But uh, other than that, not too bad really i'm on the pain medication so um i'm not feeling much pain i'm still just eating soup and ice cream and yogurt for the throat but um it's getting better the pain wasn't too bad this morning so fingers crossed tomorrow uh we'll see until next time see so even then hurt to smile brutal hello i'm back again and in the words of Scarface, say hello to my little friend. Yep, I've got the, just had the pick line put in. Um, just been to, to a High Wycombe Hospital, 
and they have just inserted it. I'm now being driven to Aylesbury Hospital to get my third treatment by my lovely mum. Yeah, she's looking after me today. Taxi driver slash food buyer slash whatever else, I don't know really. But yeah, I've had the pick line put in. It was quite an easy procedure really. And basically what it is, I'll tell you what PIC stands for. It stands for peripherally, that's your arm, inserted central catheter. And basically what they've done is they've just stuck a wire, a tube in here, and it goes all the way up and it sits just above your heart. And what it does, it makes things life a lot easier because it means that they can take blood out of it. Um, they can insert my treatment for through it. And when I get scans as well, they can put the uh, the juice that goes in for your scan as well. So um, hopefully now, between now and February, I shouldn't have any more needles going in and it should all just go through here. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. Uh, just got, yeah, got my third treatment today. So that'll be a quarter of the way through, which isn't good. What do you think, mum, you happy? Yeah. serious uh, so yeah that's it until next time which will probably be the scan which is in a month's time until then